हेलो स्टूडेंट्स और नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पेटेंटिंग एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल नॉलेज एंड द नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स राइट सो व्हेन एनी काइंड्स ऑफ नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स और एनी काइंड्स ऑफ नॉलेज ऑन टू द ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू पेटेंट इट और दे इफ दे आर हैविंग दैट इंटलेक्ट दैट इंटलेक्चुअल दे नो अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर थिंग if they want to patent it if it may be any information it may be any uh, natural products uh, obtained from natural resources may be plant kingdom animal kingdom or mineral or microorganism or something like that so if it is having medicinal value and it is not uh, of, not in the knowledge of the main kinds or it is uh, what you call nobody knows uh, till now or if it is novelty is the uh, in that information they can go for patent so when the one uh, the one who want to do the patent what kind of procedure it is there what kind of steps it is involved uh, that only we are going to discuss in this right so first of all check if your invention is patentable or not right so that's what uh, we have seen that uh, patent a uh, patentable and non patentable means what are the things you can go for patent in your name or in your organization name and what are the things you cannot go for patent that list we have already seen right so here we have to check whether the particular traditional knowledge or any natural products which we want to go for patent that has to be checked uh that particular invention has to be checked uh, if it is patentable or not second step if it is patentable we can go for drafting draft the patent application what are the requirements it is there what kind of information it is required for go for patent then filing patent application then patent application we can file nowadays it is available online so in that so many form we are going to fill so in this under the third step we are having a uh, certain forms right that's what i have arranged uh, uh, the in the third step these are the forms it is going to have then this is the fourth and fifth step so in third step the uh, in under the filing patent application form number 1 which which uh, which is having the information about application for patent grant right so what is the name of the particular patent the who is going to file the patent and all those in other information about the patent right in the form number 2 patent specification form right we have to specify the kind of design patent method patent what are the uh, proceedings it is involved in that then uh, form number 3 it is uh, asking about undertaking and statement by the the patent uh, the, the person who is doing patent or the patent holder uh, has to give the undertaking that i am the wholly responsible for the uh, this particular information which i am going to do the patent and so on that we have to reveal here form number 5 declaration of invention right we have to declare that it has not been uh, invented by somebody else in worldwide and uh, i am only the responsible for this particular invention like that uh, patent uh, under the file uh, there is a form number 26 which authorizing patent agent right so where from where like in kolkata there is a office patent office uh, it is it is by the government uh, generally it will be right so authorizing patent agent uh, about that we have to fill the details and uh, form number 28 it says about the mandatory only for the small entity or small startup right so it is not mandatory uh, uh, if it is a small one then you can go for the filing of the filling of the uh, form number 28 right then after this one two and three step there is a fourth step called uh, publishing the patent application once you will fill all the form then you have you have to go for the step number 4 that is nothing but publishing the patent application uh, the patent office where you have uh, filed the patent they are going to publish your information into the patent publication and uh, it will go into the public domain then uh, patent the examining uh, the patent application whatever the information you have submitted in the form number 1 2 3 5 26 and 28 that uh, patent officer they are going to uh, cross verify right so now what are the things uh, when whenever uh, examine they are examining the patent application they are going to examine the prior approved or not our application it is it is already filled by somebody else or not whether there is any novelty in that patent or it is usefulness for the main kind or not or nature of the claim uh, what kind of nature it is there whether it is uh, uh, comes under the eligibility criteria or not right then they are going to scrutinize by the examiners uh, it has to be scrutinized first of all they have to separate 
uh, which is come under the patentable, which is not come under the patentable. Sometimes without the uh, with the lack of knowledge, pe people they will file because they don't have the much knowledge, so they will do like that. So that has to be scrutinized. Then they are going to review the eligible applications. Then F E R they are going to submit. What is the F I R? We you might have heard. So it is F E R. So it is the first examination report. That is the first inspection report which will be there, no, in police station. So here F E R first examination report has to be submitted. Grounds for the objections, if any, right? So that we have to do, right? Any if it it will be done in the six to nine month time given. So examiner obje objection generally are the quite common in patent. Uh, if it is uh, some kind of uh, special kinds of information, then uh, the public also can have the objection. If the inventor needs to make changes to objection, they can file request for the time extension by filling the form number four. Right? If uh, the if examiner given objection, so if they objection, they want to uh, ratify, so they can ask for the time extension. How you do in the uh, how it will be done into the uh, PhD or in something else? Uh, so time extension it is possible by filling this. Then next uh, step uh, that is called uh, three, four, five, six uh, step, right? So in the sixth uh, step we are going to have the decision making, right? So decision to the uh, grant patent, right? So and the next uh, uh, here what will uh, once the examiner find no objections from any of the corner in applications he grants the patent. Right then, uh, after granting the patent, it will be there uh, patented in form patented method drug ap ap anything. So uh, renewing of the patent, it is there the next step. Uh, if any person do, who has a patent holder, who is the patent holder, needs to renew for maximum twenty years from the date of filing. So now the information, the drug, it will be there under the patent holder, and uh, he or he is or she is going to be the owner for that information and that drug and after patent expired then anybody can use right so this is the uh, different steps uh, which we need to follow so generally uh, these are the steps like step one step two step three then these are the form we are filling then coming to the next uh, this is the step four step five step six and step seven this uh, patent uh, thing it is going to happen for any of the traditional knowledge or natural products thank you